This is the moss scale, and you can use it to scratch anything you want. No. Okay, okay, let me clarify. You can use it to scratch any mineral you want, and it's a one step forward to its identification. And since tiles are made from minerals, you can use this to scratch tiles. Whoa, whoa, why would you want to even scratch tiles with this to begin with? Well, I got this kit from the amep.com. It's the American Education Products. And uh, what this product basically is, is a series of minerals, uh, nine of them, that basically identify uh, the hardness of a particular product. So here in this writing, they actually given you a little description of what this kit actually does. So let's go ahead and read it. The determination of hardness of a mineral can be important step towards identification. Hardness is the resistance in which a smooth surface of a mineral offers to be scratched. A diamond is the hardest of all substances and can be scratched by another diamond. Over a century ago, Frederick Moss, through a series of experiments, made up a scale of hardness which can now be referred to as the Moss scale. It does not apply an exact hardness, but is set up so that any mineral can be scratched, all those beneath in the scale, or can be scratched by those above it in the scale. Since diamond is the hardness, it's given a number 10. Talc is above the softest, so it's given number 1. Quartz is often used as a division in the scale. And all minerals above seven on the scale are called hard minerals. Some very familiar objects can be used in conjunction in this scale. A fingernail has a hardness of 2.5, a copper coin between three and four, a knife blade or common window glass 5.5, a steel file 6.5. Other minerals are sometimes substituted in the scale. For instance, topaz can be substituted for barrel as they have both the hardness rating of eight. So typically um, quartz has a hardness of seven. So in this case, a kitchen knife, if it has the equivalence of a 5.5, which is why kitchen knives can't scratch coat or they shouldn't, if it's a quality quartz. Uh, so that's a really important thing to be actually considering when you're looking at uh, buying tiles well is uh, what's the hardness of your tile uh, before you purchase it and where is it going? So here's the kit. And what we're going to do, and we're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to take two different tiles and we're going to see how this uh, scale is going to be used to scratch those tiles. Now, what's interesting is that some tiles do not have a rating. And so if we are using the scale, we can actually identify the rating for that tile without having to know what the manufacturer has uh, given us. All right, so here we are. Um for a demonstration um i got here um number six on our moss scale which is feldspar and this tile as mentioned is rated as uh, six out of ten so we're going to test that right now we're going to take this um, feldspar piece i'm going to draw a line across the tile and see if we see a mark so i'm going to get it in right and close so we can kind of see here So that was just left over from the material, but as you can see, there's no scratches on this tile. And this is our Vela Tiles um, Gemma Colorado. It's Italian tile, very good quality. It's actually a luxe finish. Um, so now we're gonna do the same thing, but on another tile. Um, this is a very kind of generic brand. Um, it's you know, something you typically find at uh, big box retailers. Um, it's not a very high quality tile. I know that from other factors that we've seen, um, just looking at the glaze. So this is a cross section of it where we try to cut it. And already you can see, uh, just trying to cut this tile, the, um, the glaze chipped uh, versus trying to cut this tile, or is it or on this side? Um, not so much very, very strong place. So 
here we go, we're gonna do the same thing here. Now, the thing is about this tile it, uh, is that it does not have any rating. So I don't even know what the scratch resistance of this tile is. So here we are, again, same thing. I'm gonna get up and close, right close here. Move to bed. See, as you can see, this tile got scratched. So that means that if you had some kind of a piece of stone or material that um, uh, was present in the space that this tile is installed in, you would get a scratch on this tile. Versus this tile, you wouldn't have that problem. That's why scratch resistance is so important. Um, let me try it again, another spot, just so you can see. This time I didn't press that much but you can already see still there's a scratch on the tile so if those were you really worried about you know polished tiles getting scratched this is why it's very important to look at the rating the moss rating for the tile and if the tile manufacturer has not provided that it means that it has not been um, tested so they don't even know what their scratch resistance is so let's go down this list and, and try to find the scratch resistance of this tile. So I'm going to go down one notch. So I'm going to go down to five. I'm going to find my five here. And five is um, appetite. And this is another rock right here, five. We're going to draw that and see the scratch resistance of this tile with um, a, much, a much weaker mineral. Okay, so the lower we go, the softer these minerals get and the lower the scratch resistance of the tile. Here we go again. I'm not sure if you can see from the picture, but there is a very faint line, very faint. It's there, but it's very faint. Let me try that one more time. You can kind of see and this, this time I did it, you can kind of see. So we're now down to five. And that's still being scratched. Let's keep going. We're down to four now. Try to find our four here. Here we go, that's fluorite. Okay, this is fluorite. We're gonna to try to scratch the tile again now. Let's try a different spot. Let's go here. It's much better. I don't feel like there's a scratch with the fluorite. Try one more time. Nope, there is. There is a scratch. I see it. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Let me see if I can get somewhere where much more reflection. See that? Again, it's scratched. We're down to four. This is a very weak glaze, as I mentioned earlier. We're down to four and we're still getting those tiles. Let's go to three. Calcite, it's another mineral. See if calcite, I mean, three, we're, this is, we're getting to the level of ceramic tile here in terms of the, the, the scratch resistance. You know, ceramic, ceramic, ceramic tiles, which you normally you don't even put on a floor ever you know, for wall applications. So here we go. Let's find a spot. I haven't scratched yet. Guys, the tile's getting scratched. I'm not sure you can see that. Very faint. I'm 
much. So it, the scratches are more faint, but imagine over a period of a year, two years, five years, how many lines are going to be created on this tile just from just from walking. So this is not a tile you, you really want to put on the floor because of the amount of uh, scratches that you're going to get over a period of time. You know, it's shiny and beautiful right now, but I mean, about five, maybe even not even five years, like two, three years, this tile is going to be covered in, in scratch lines. And that's what you pay for. So the difference in price is traumatic. This, this, this tile right here is double, like almost triple the price of this. I mean, with pricing going up uh, nowadays with uh, everything, um, that's kind of contribute to it. But in terms of just standard, you know, pricing without all this stuff going on with our fuel costs and everything, that's still at least double the price of this. And people, when you go to the um, big box stores or places where they send, sell cheap tiles, uh, you see, wow, you know, tile like three ninety nine per square foot or something. Wow, porcelain tile, like, and then you think you're getting a deal, or or you think the other places are too expensive and they're trying to rip people off. Well, this is their reason. This is the reason why we have prices where we are uh, that are priced the way they are. Just how tiles are, because ultimately, what it comes down to is what you get. You pay what you get. You know. Um, what you get, what you pay for. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't know this. So I hope this video has helped understand the difference between art tiles, which is something that's durable. You can put it anywhere. You can put it in a in a mud room. Still not going to get scratched. I mean, when you're at six, that's a step below quartz, which means that you're. It's just a notch below the strength of your kitchen countertops. So imagine how strong they are because you can use a knife on the kitchen countertop and it won't get scratched. And this is how strong these tiles are. So if you want to put a tile in the kitchen, you want to drop stuff, you're not going to have a problem with this tile. This tile, all kinds of problems down the line, guarantee you.